Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I just wanted to talk about some of the pickups I got recently, um, primarily for the Wii U, because I just bought the system uh, maybe a little over a month ago, and a few Xbox One pickups as well. So, um, let's start with the Xbox One. So, a very, very big thanks to my good buddy, Decayed Matter, uh, Chris, or he calls himself Chris, which I won't call him. Uh, he got Dead Rising 2 for PS4, and uh, he's a big Amazon guy. So he ordered it from Amazon, it got to his house, he very excitedly opened the package, and they sent him the wrong one. So um, he knows I have an Xbox One, so he forwarded it to me. Very, very appreciative. Thank you very much. I can't wait to try this. And he um, wrote to them, and they're sending him a new copy for himself. They had some kind of big mix-up where they were sending everyone who ordered a PS4 version the Xbox One version, which they obviously can't use unless they have an Xbox One. So uh, I played number one and number three, so I look really forward to trying this out. Thank you very, very much, Chris. Secondly, uh, Beth had picked this up because uh, she's a fan of the Lego games and of Jurassic Park. So she picked up Jurassic World. This is the Xbox One version. It's also out on Wii U and PS4, I believe. Um, Pretty fun, multiplayer, and you know, covers all the Jurassic Park games, excuse me, Jurassic Park movies, and I think even the newest one as well. So, pretty cool stuff. She's really enjoying this. She plays this by herself more than I've really played it with her so far. Um, I also picked up, and now we're moving on to Wii U games, um, recently for Beth I had picked up Epic Mickey 2, Power of 2. I heard this was okay. Um, she's a big Disney and Mickey fan, so I figured I'd check it out. Um, it was originally on the Wii, and they said the motion controls were great and the game was really good. This one takes some of that away, so it's actually like a stunted version of it, but it was really cheap. Um, Walmart had it for $5 with free in-store pickup. And then they ended up mailing it to me in the store, but it never made it to the destination, so they mailed it to my house. So I got two copies for the price of one, and I still got the one from the store that I picked up. So I got two of them, but traded the other one in. But either way, picked up this. Um, then I picked this one up for Beth. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. U with the Luigi um, version. I hear this is really, really good. It's um, like the new version of Mario with the 2D side-scrolling stuff. She played a little bit of it in Target one day, and she was like, this is really fun. And she's not big on the 3D Mario so far. So uh, I figured we'd get some play time out of this. So far we're playing a lot of Wooly World, but uh, this is probably going to be next. Speaking of my buddy Decayed Matter, Chris, he, um, he asked me which Wii U games we could play together, and one of them is Devil's Third, but that's getting taken offline at the end of December. So I went out and picked up a copy for $6 of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, which is pretty good. It's very grindy. Um, Reminds me a lot of like Ragnarok Online or Soul Sacrifice. And um, we played this online, pretty cool. We only did it once so far, but keep an eye out because I think he's going to capture the next time we play and we'll upload it on both of our respective channels. But if you like like action RPGs with online elements, uh, this is pretty good. Just like I said, very grindy and a difficult learning curve. Um, then I picked this one up for Beth because. Um, we both have some pretty fond memories of our childhood with this game on the Nintendo. DuckTales Remastered. I think this is the only... Is this the only way to get it physically? I think so. I think otherwise it's digital on the other consoles. So, pick this up. We did one level so far. Really fun. It's like a one-for-one, one, you know, remake of the NES version, but they really souped up the graphics. It looks like a cartoon. It looks great. So, this has been really fun so far to play. Um, then I picked this up. Pikmin 3. Um, was never a huge fan of the first one when I played it on the GameCube, but my tastes have changed over the years, so I gave this a shot, and I'm really enjoying this. It sort of reminds me of the wonderful 101, but more strategic than beat em up um, But really liking the art the design and the style, and, you know, controlling your little aliens and sending them off to do things. So I'm on like level 4 or 5 in this, I'm not very far, but it's really fun, and I think they really implemented the gamepad well as well. And finally, um, a series I haven't really played much since um, the Super Nintendo, so I figured I'd give this a shot since it was so cheap, and that's Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I hear this is a really great remaster 
Um, Twilight Princess, I hear, is okay. And now that new one is coming out, Breath of, Breath of the Wild, is it? At the end of the year for the Wii U and then the beginning of next year, I guess, for the NX, possibly. So um, I'll keep an eye on that one, but really wanted to check this out. I played a little bit of this on the GameCube a couple of years ago, but not a lot at all. So um, I have a huge backlog of Wii U games now that um, some are more like quick games, like DuckTales, which you can beat in a few hours, Shovel Knight, which I just beat, um, and then things like this and Xeno, um, Xenoblade and everything that, that are like more long in-depth games. But I really look forward to playing these, especially because they're so like kind of lighthearted and they're not pick up and play, but there's a kind of a charm to them that some games lack. So, um, and we can blame The Binding of Isaac, Spelunky, and um, what was the other one? There's another retro game I play, like retro looking game, Shovel Knight. We can blame all that on this because that's what kind of got me back into the Wii U. So these are my pickups for uh, recently. Thanks again to my buddy Decade Matter for sending me that Dead Rising 2. I look forward to playing Monster Hunter Online with you again. And uh, that's it. I'll keep in touch, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.